Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today we're going to be looking at face recognition in Python. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect. So we have jumped straight into PyCharm. Um, we have a folder called Code of the Future because that is this YouTube channel and we have an empty Python file, which you can see here, uh, face recognition. And then I have two images in here, which we're going to use um, to try and recognize faces in Python. Okay, so something um, if you are going to follow along with this tutorial I'd recommend, you know, just pausing the video now going and finding a picture of yourself uh, You know a clear head-on picture of yourself and then perhaps um, some pictures with you know other people in as well Okay, so we're going to jump straight into the video um, this tutorial is actually a really nice easy tutorial So if you are a beginner then you know this video um, will be really easy to follow along and I'm going to explain each of the steps along the way as well Okay, so the first thing we're going to say is important relevant modules so there are three different things we need to import and they are import pil dot image import pil dot image draw and then we also need to import face recognition okay now if you have done this save it put type this in, into your python file and you've come up with errors and it says you know nothing is imported the way that you do that is you can pip install it so if you are familiar with how to pip install then you simply just pip install um, face recognition and pil if you aren't familiar with how to do that then we can simply just go up to pycharm up here click preferences and then you're going to go all the way down to project so the title of your folder it probably will be you're going to go into an interpreter and then here you're just going to click the add button here and notice it says install so you're going to click add and then you can simply search for pil so here here is pil um, i already have it installed you know you can click install package and then it will install um, so that is how you install specific modules uh, that you can then use in python so these are the relevant modules we need the p the pil is what will enable us to take a specific image and then draw boxes around the faces. And then the face recognition is, you know, as you guessed it, to recognize the faces in a given image. So that's why we need these different uh, modules. And now we're gonna say, let's start by inputting an image and getting Python to recognize it. Okay. So the way we're going to do that, and I'm just going to bring this across here, we don't need to see any of that. So we're going to say, okay, let's take a variable and call it picture. Um, and this is going to be what our, our picture that we choose is. And we're going to say face recognition dot load image file. And then you're going to input whatever the title of the image you've chosen. So if you see here, this image here, which I'll just click on, this is a picture of me. <laughs> it says ellie.jpg. Okay. So I'm going to put ellie.jpg and it comes up here so you know if you've gone wrong with uh, typing in the specific thing it comes up here so I'll just double click that and it's already there. Okay so that's loading my given image. Now if we were to just print this picture you may think well it's going to print exactly what we have here you know this image here but what it actually does is it will print numbers. Okay so we'll run this python file it may take oh it didn't take too long. So we have all of these numbers here and that is basically Python's way of being able to store the image that that is um, I suppose a blueprint for that specific image okay so that is how we input the picture now we're going to get Python to recognize faces within that picture so obviously this picture here has one face um, and then this is another picture I have and this is from a holiday that I did so something worth bearing you know bearing in mind with this image it probably won't pick up on this face here purely because it's on a side so that's why I wanted to include this picture just to show you that it will mainly focus on pictures where the face is head on. Um, so this is a, a picture of all my friends when we went on holiday. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say face and this we're going to assign a new variable and we're going to say face. We'll call it locations because essentially what we're about to do is get Python to recognize where the faces are and then we can you know call it something like face locations because that's where the faces will be within that given picture that we have here. So we're going to say face recognition again. So we're going to say face recognition dot face locations which comes up there and we're going to go across again and we're going to type in picture so what this is doing and if we just hover over this here it is saying returns an array of bounding boxes of human faces in an image so this here this face location so i'm just going to print it and we'll show you what it's what it's actually doing in terms of python so if we print the face location it gives a list and inside that list there is a tuple 
and this tuple is giving the coordinates of where that face is in a given picture here. Obviously we have the Ellie image, so there's only one face, but if I was to type in here, I think it was, I named it holiday, holiday, and we run this, hopefully it's going to find the three faces, excluding mine, because mine's on a side. Aha, perfect. So it's recognised three, so what this has done is it's created a list, and inside this list it has three tuples, and inside these tuples, these are the coordinates. So the way that the tuple works is by, this here is top, this is right, this is bottom, and this is left. And essentially you can do top right, you know, bottom left, and then it will kind of enclose a rectangle around the image, the face. Okay, so that's what this is doing here. So we've created a picture in Python, obviously it's just random numbers uh, that encodes that particular picture, and then we've created face location, which is where each of the faces are located in this given picture. So something kind of nice that we can do to add a little bit of touch into Python is we can kind of get, get Python uh, to print how many faces it recognises. So we can say, you know, how many faces, and we can let that equal to the length of and it's going to be the face location because remember the lo the face location returned the locations of the images so depending on how many tuples are within that list it will give you exactly that number so if we were to say okay how many faces and we'll print how many faces and we'll run it three perfect so i'm going to move it back to ellie for now just because um it processes a little bit quicker when there's you know one one image one face Okay, perfect. Okay, so instead of just getting Python to print the number, we can format it. So it Python pr prints um, a statement. So we can say print, uh, let's say, Python recognized, let's just put a question mark for now, recognized of faces in this image. Okay, now if you're familiar with formatting, what we're going to do is we're going to put these squiggly brackets in here. And we're going to put dot format, and then we're going to put how many faces. So what this will do is it will return, it will print Python recognize, and in this bracket here, it will input how many faces it recognized of faces in this image. So we'll run this, and hopefully it will say Python recognized one of faces. Oh, I just can't write English apparently. <laughs> yeah, we'll change that to face, sorry. And I'll put in brackets an S. We'll run that again. It's a good job um, I do tech and not. <laughs> Not English. Okay, Python recognised one face in this image. Perfect. And then if we change this to holiday, click run. Okay, perfect. Python recognised three faces in this image. Great. We could change recognised to located. Recognised almost implies that Python knows exactly who that person is. So we'll just put located instead of recognised. Um, it makes a little bit more sense with, with how, what Python does. Okay, so now we have found out, you know, we've got an image, we've got more than one image, uh, we found out, you know, how many faces are in that image. What we can do now is get Python to print that image with squares or rectangles um, around the given face, which I think is pretty cool. You can get an image and then Python will literally draw a little rectangle around where that face is. Uh, and this is kind of the basic idea of facial recognition. This is why the first video on this channel is going to be something as simple as this because you can extend it a lot further. You can get a video, you can kind of get Python to recognise your given face. Um, so that is another video I'm going to release is how you can get a given face, so my face for example, and it will say Ellie. That's why for this video we're keeping it relatively simple just because it's a really nice way of easing you into facial recognition. Okay so what we're going to say is, we're just going to drop this down, so get Python to draw rectangles around the images. And again, can't spell rectangles, there we go. So get Python to draw rectangles around the images. Okay, so this is where we're going to be using the PIL library. Notice it's greyed out because we haven't used it yet. So this is where we'll use the PIL library. So we're going to say the PIL picture, so this is the picture that PIL will um, produce, we're going to say pil.image from array. Now what I'm going to say is pil picture dot show. okay, and then we're going to just run this Python file again, and I'm going to show you exactly what this here is doing. It, it's very simple, it is simply creating the picture, but I'll just show you exactly what it does first. Okay, so it's located three images in this space, and then it finishes the exit code. Perfect, there we go, it's come up on the home screen. This is the picture that 
I have inputted because it was the holiday picture. Perfect. So we can cross off that and we can go back. So what this here is doing is basically assigning PIL picture to the given picture we put in here. So again, I'm just going to change that back to Ellie um, just because the process is a bit quicker when, with one face. And then this image here, dot show will show the image. Okay. So now what we're going to say is draw picture. Okay. And essentially what we need to do is use this PIL image draw so we can take this image here use it with this image draw and that will allow us to draw the rectangle so what we're just going to say here is pil dot image draw dot draw and we're going to put in here pil picture okay which is what we have here and this step here just essentially allows us to draw on this given image Okay, so these are kind of the prerequisites. This is kind of what we need before we can start drawing the rectangles around the image. And now we can jump straight into drawing the rectangles. Okay, so this next step is incredibly easy. We're just going to say for faces in face locations. Okay, so what that's saying is gonna take each of the faces in this given list here. And remember this list was a list of tuples. We're gonna to say top right bottom left equals faces okay so what this is doing and if you remember from the video that i did on tuples what this is doing is it will take a given tuple in the face location and it will assign the top variable to the top so what i'm going to do actually just to kind of explain this a little bit easier is i'm going to here just print face locations just print here face locations and then we'll just run this again Okay, perfect. So this here is what the face location is for this given image. And remember, this here is the top, this here is right, this here is bottom, and that is left. So what this is doing here is assigning the top variable to this number, the right variable to this, bottom to this, and left to this. And again, this is for each tuple. That's why we are asking for faces in face location. If you only want to do one face, then obviously this loop isn't really required, but because it's a little bit nicer and a little bit um, more fun when you have an image with more image with more faces in it, um, you know, you, you need this for loop. So that's what, that's what that is doing. And now we've assigned those variables, we can draw a rectangle. So we'll say, we'll take our draw picture, which is here. We're going to say rectangle, and this will draw a rectangle. And then we're going to give it these parameters here. So we're going to say here, right, bottom, left, and top. And this is kind of just the format that we need in order for the rectangle to work. So that's why that is in that order. You can switch it around, but just for this video, we're going to keep it as this. Now, something we need to do is put this in a list just so it knows to plot this given rectangle that's given in this list and then we can add some extra parameters so I'm just going to go down so we can say outline is green okay and we use green just because green kind of stands out a little bit better it's almost like yeah look this is correct because it's found these images and we're just going to say the width um, of the rectangle we'll say is about eight you know you can change this depending on how kind of close up your image is or how far away it is and then finally we're just going to say pil picture dot show and hopefully this is going to show an image with a rectangle around the face. So we'll start with, I think we have Ellie in here. Yeah, so it's just going to recognise one image. Uh, one face, sorry. Okay, so we run it. Okay. Perfect, look at that. How insane is that? I always, I'm just honestly amazed, like, amazed by anything. I know some people probably, probably find this so um, easy and not amusing at all or not entertaining. But honestly, I just think it's pretty incredible um so there we go it's done one it's done my face um and it's drawn this little kind of rectangle around it what i'm going to do now is just cross off that and we're going to do it for the holiday image okay and we'll click run hopefully it's going to draw some rectangles around uh, my friend's face <laughs> perfect look if i just zoom in it is found the faces i think that's incredible i knew that it wouldn't do my face here you know i look a bit <laughs> a bit weird in that <laughs> because my face is on the side so this is something you know to remember with facial facial recognition is that you'd kind of need an image where the faces are head on uh so perfect it has you know outlined my friend's faces with the you know square 
uh, with the rectangle. So that is, you know, exactly how you take an image and you can get Python to recognise a face in that image um, and also draw a rectangle or a square around that given face. So you can extend it further, you could get some more Im you know, faces in an image. One thing worth remembering is if you have images, you know, that are really, really far away, it's probably less likely to pick up on those images, on those faces, uh, just because of the pixels and things. So, you know, a bit of advice if you kind of watch this video and you want to give it a go yourself is kind of finding an image that, you know, your face is head on or someone's face is head on and it's quite clear as well. So that is how you get Python to take an image or, you know, several images and recognise faces within that image and then draw a rectangle or a square around where that face is. On this channel, I'm going to extend this facial recognition a little bit further, go into kind of how you have a live video and being able to recognise a given, you know, person's face. Uh, so recognise, it'll say, look, this is... Ellie and similar for you it'll say look this is you and exploring things like that with facial recognition is something that I'm going to feature on this channel um, so subscribe so you don't miss out on an update like that and I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please like subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video